Missouri's gas tax could be on the way up. Fox 2's Blair Lede is live in Maryland Heights with more on the bill that is headed to the governor's desk later on today, and uh, she has more on that. Good morning, Blair. Good morning to you. Well, the state of Missouri hasn't seen a gas tax increase since 1996, so that's almost 25 years ago. But after a lot of debate uh, in the House last night, members voted to up the tax 2.5 cents per gallon every year over the next five years. This will start later on this year. Now, right now, Missouri's gas tax is set at 17 cents, the third lowest in the country behind Alaska and Hawaii. By 2025, the gas tax would be at 29.5 cents. Republican Senate pro tem Dave Schatz of Sullivan was the driver behind the legislation. He says the increase is expected to bring in more than $500 million per year once it's up and rolling, and it would go toward our roads and bridges. The legislation comes with a 100% rebate for Missourians as long as you keep your receipts for an entire year. Drivers would apply for that rebate once a year. Here is a peek at parts of that four hour long conversation from lawmakers both for and against the tax hike. So do you really think a mom that's stressed out, single with two kids in diapers is going to think about, oh, I have to save my receipt, and then realize she's going to have to send it to the Department of Revenue where they already audit people? The potholes on I-70 are embarrassing, and they are once again unsafe. I think if I happen to swerve to the right or to the left, I'm going to catch the pothole that's in between the edge of the road and the shoulder or the one that's running down the middle of the lane. We need to raise your taxes for this purpose, the money will be well spent and all of us will benefit greatly from that. Now, the overall bill passed the Senate with a 104 to 52 vote, sending it to Governor Mike Parson's desk. If he approves it, the tax will go into effect beginning October 1st. Reporting live from Maryland Heights, I'm Blair Lede, Fox 2 News.